Insight episode 126 and today I have very somebody very special on the river for you to meet. This is Michal. Hi. Hi. Uh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you. And Michal basically keeps all of us on the river running by uh, supplying us with coal and gas bottles and things like that. Would, would you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, I mean, it's like petrol station on the river. It's, it's somebody got to do it because lots of boats are permanently moored mm -hmm. or lots of boats cannot move. So it's not like on the land you just go and pick up with the boat is quite difficult. So running system on the uh, running boats on the old system, it's uh, it's like that from 400 years and it's still viable. Yes. So it's always need for it. Mm. Uh, it was loose called them days and tar and all different kind of gravel. Now we have all packed nice and kind of, uh, you know, ready for 21st century trade, clean one. Uh, together with eco coal and eco friendly, uh, is fossil fuels fossil fuel boat bodies eco friendly as much as we can be. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean we don't use like coal anymore. It's like a kind of eco version of yeah, this, really. Isn't exactly, it? it's 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 a mix. It's anthracite, so rock coal, with the chemicals which makes kind of uh, neutralize everything. But Apart from that, I mean, we we trying to all wood is recycled. Uh, not only we selling, it's this will be going to the landfill, yes. and it will become rubbish, and it will be produce methane or CO two or whatever. Now we not only un recycling it, we recycling it with the profit for community. Community yes. have very cheap wood, and we perpetuate the business and the environment say thank you yes so yeah it's it's win 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 situation <laughs> yeah and you're helping us i'm not i mean i move around on my boat but these gas bottles are heavy so for me <laughs> to go and buy one from the shop and carry it back it's it's like kind of impossible uh, so that's that's no, how it's, it's called i mean uh, we kind of make it uh, how it's gonna be named it's delivery service <laughs> uh, everybody can get those goods basically on their own but like you said the 90 kilo bottle is 50 kilos. Every uh, every call back and you, you you you're gonna use five a week mm -hmm. is a quarter of a ton. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and so on and it's so on so it. on. So yeah, it, it, that's that's our job. That's our job. That's amazing. <laughs> Tell me about your boat. Is it? Oh, I can see. It's 1935. Yeah, they so. they both they both started like a body pulled by the horses. Yeah, but not powered. Uh, they 87 years old this year so wow. and we regenerated them heavily is a second regeneration after 2000 regeneration by the Kim which was uh, he make original kind of restoration uh, from the old rusty things to the trading coal boats and mm. I mean uh, it's Grand Union they, they they small Woolwich like they say the Grand Union original fleet as much as they heavy, every boat weighs like 20 ton empty. So with the cargo, I'm like 50, 70 ton. It's amazing load, but the boats are so lovely, you don't feel it. Wow. It, it's, you get away with it. Yeah, they, it they work nicely. with you. Yeah. In the lock, you don't have to rope it. They doing what they have by themselves. Going front, not to put on the keel, going so you can open the gates, going back by themselves. <laughs> it's, it's very well fought. Uh, I mean, is British heritage, yeah, is the, uh, and we have uh, British <laughs> uh, best uh, uh, Raston Hornsby engine from 1963. It's all kind of old school at its best. So, as much as is 87 years old, is doing what it meant to do still. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just the thought. The, nothing we make it this. It's pity because this was the way. Nothing we make nowadays is meant to last this long. It's meant to last as short. That's the kind of philosophy. This means to this is fourth generation skippers we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And I think this boat will o overlive it's me. It's gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not that old, but I'm quite sure they're gonna live longer than me. <laughs> Yeah, Th that's beauty about it. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> you can feel it. Even you're driving, you can feel the spirit of, of the water, of the 
previews because those boats was running those this system for eight years. Mm. So I'm running the system, let's say, 20 years. Uh, you can imagine, and you you kind of checking the history, you checking the heritage, and you subscribing to the legend of the boats, and you finding these bits of pictures of of uh, on the internet. You can find many things, and you kind of patching the whole history of it, and then you then you understand. It's not just humping the coal and driving the boat. Mm. It is heritage. It is it is philosophy. It is way of life. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for talking to me. Nice one. Great to meet you. <laughs> All the best. Thank you. <laughs> Back at the boat, and you also saw Betsy on the roof of Indus uh, starring there with me. How? So I've got a few exciting things to tell you about before we go inside for a tune, and that is that on the 10th of June, next Friday, Hatching Hairs is launched, my new album, and at 7 p.m. on the 10th of June, Friday, okay, everyone, please tune in and watch a lo the launch concert online. Mr. Jeffrey Irwin is gonna be here on the boat with me, and there's also lots of live performances, so please go to anatam.co.uk to find those. If you're in Somerset, there's one in Froome. If you're in uh, Herefordshire, there's one uh, one up there. <laughs> lots, of, lots of different places. Rockhampton Festival I'm at and the Green Note in London. So yeah, just please, please go and take a look. And if I can come and see you in person, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, today's tune is one on Hurdy Gurdy and it is one to basically kind of celebrate everything summery and launching and exciting things happening. It is called Mr. Isaac's Maggot. It's from 17th century Playford book and a maggot is basically a tune that's written for somebody so that's uh, hence it being that although on ships maggots can mean lots of other things anyway come in and enjoy this jolly tune <laughs> 